Good afternoon class. So in today's video, what I like to do is a lab report in a nutshell. So you see, I've got some ice inside of this hydro flask. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close the cover like so. And as you can see, I, I put it on very fairly loosely. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come back in a few minutes and see what happens um, after, after the ice starts to cool off inside quite a bit. Let's see what happens. All right, so now that it's been a few hours, let's see what happens. Let's see how easily I can take off this, this cap. And as you can see, I, I can't take it off as easily as I did before. I have to really get in there and try again. So it looks like I might have to use two hands for this one. So we'll see this in part three. So this time I got two hands on it. Let's see what happens. And if you heard that <clears throat> little release of air, that's because what was happening inside was the ice well, let's take a actually let's take a look at that the ice inside was cooling the air making it a little bit denser what that did was that it pulled a pulled on this cap a little bit more because the air pressure inside was getting the temperature was going down so the so the volume of air should have gone down or the pressure would have changed. And because nature abhors a vacuum, the volume couldn't change, so the pressure had to change, which means that the, this cap was gonna be on, uh, screwed on a little bit tighter and was gonna be harder for it to come off. So once you finally force it off, the air from outside, which is warmer, will, will rush inside to try and equalize the pressure between the inside and the outside. So I thought I'd point that out as an example of thermodynamics. Study hard, see the next video.